Welcome to another video. My name is Daniel and today we are preparing launch outdoors. I'm testing some new gear and this is the headed and extreme lightweight tarp from Nordstrom. Not really need to set it up but I'm just testing it to, to get to know the, the gear that I have. The pegs though are from the previous tarp. I have here, I have some small pegs from Nootent and I'm gonna use uh, my uh, trekking pole and I think it might be broken, I'm not sure uh, as one stand and I'm gonna tie to the other tree there Wow, this feels like super super light These are uh, the Nima spots here I like this kind of a, it's a reflective tape, so, wow. Well, actually it had uh, some pegs included. I didn't notice that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, these are a bit different, actually. They have some teeth on. Well, I didn't know it was... Uh, yeah, this part looks pretty good as well. Pretty cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Well, I can put this back to the other top then. I'm impressed. Pretty good. This is not part of my ultralight kit because it's a bit heavy, but this uh, I will be making some food with today on lunch. And as well as this is not part of it, but um, this might be my top 750 liters. Prepare some alcohol stove, uh, some rice here. Not gonna prepare some alcohol stove. I'm gonna use the alcohol stove and the firebox. So uh, this is a bit too heavy though to use. I don't have any little stand for it and this is stainless steel version cool. I have spare alcohol with me because I haven't used this in a while so I didn't <laughs> I didn't know how much you will take I don't have very good experience with alcohol stoves but uh, I think I'm gonna give it a go and considering taking the little Trangia stove there um, I'm gonna put the lid there and let me see, can I do this? Ooh, it's gonna be a bit short for space though. I put some water here. This is also not part of my ultralight set. 
this is what I got. And it's gonna start to boil this. This. Uh, Okay. This might take a while though. I'm thinking. You know what? I'm gonna put the little grill there. There we go. Now I can put the lock there. There we go. Well, the cool thing about the alcohol stove is that it's um, cheap in use. It costs less than gas and it's silent. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Is this leaking or what? Be leaking more. Not entirely sure. Anyway, we will have fire. I'm gonna put the rice there. Ah, that was almost boiling, so I'm gonna put the rice. some salt there as well and some oil to the pan shouldn't eat too much I'm gonna have some mango and this is my only knife I have with me today so I need to kind of improvise here I have some already cooked um, uh, carrots and some my English, um, not garlic, but uh, onion, puddelok, some kind of a onion, the long one, you know. Perfect. Let's see how far, how long I will I last with one? It's almost gone. That's what I. a bit worry about so I need to fill up another time I could like use sticks for the firebox but I don't really want to deal with a uh, fire I really want to experiment with this uh, alcohol stove
Well, not bad. It's still going and seems like the rice is already done. I think it's been like going on for 10 minutes. I don't think it's gonna be enough for cooking that though, but uh, I guess I can try. You see this, this is really... Mm. Good and salty. Maybe a bit too much though, but... Uh, I really prefer salt instead of not, nothing at all. Um, salt is not good for you though. I'm gonna just leave it there and I'm gonna try to prepare this. This firebox is pretty cool. I should have ordered it in Titanium but I couldn't get it in Titanium. Gonna take a bit while though. I might be over already. Let's see. Oh yeah. Just as soon as I put the <laughs> The pan, that was over already. Yeah, that's that's gone, 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 gone. Well, that's, I um, don't know, no, I remember. That's why I bring the whole freaking bottle of it. Just to experiment, so I'm gonna put a bit less Take away the rice there, like half there, and I'm gonna fire it up again. Oh shit. It's a good cooking station, this uh, firebox. I really like that. It's uh, different to the one that I had. I had the bushcraft essentials before. I was a bit bigger. And I didn't have like this ashtray here. Ah, it's dripping a bit as well. Not, not, not too much though. Well, it's, this tarp is huge, man. Wow. This is top notch. Oh, when you look at that. Perfect. Well, I'm gonna put my rice there. Oh my freaking god, this jacket man. I barely touch it with the, with the, with the flame. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. At least it's not down though. I can patch this up. I already have patch. I uh, screwed this jacket up a couple of times. That's the problem with the uh, um, ultralight gear. Doesn't really last as much, some of it. Well, it depends. 
the pot lasts a lot, the tarp will last a lot, the shoes will not last, the Dyneema bag probably last. But my jacket? No. Doesn't matter. Instead of buying a new one, be minim a minimalism and try to repair it instead. It's not a fashion show, you know. Oh my goodness. If we can close this flame, doesn't want to. <laughs> oh, this um, spirit um, smells remind me of uh, the army. Am I uh, across Norway? T, the last one. I can put there. thing about titanium though is that it gets cold pretty good fast and right now it was super hot I'm gonna bring my garbage hole put it on this container here ah, burn my my tongue Fast depleted. There is a little grill mi missing, I think. It's supposed to be here. There, no. Pretty cool stall. Firebox. Okay, just waiting for the rest to cool down a bit. I think I can actually put alcohol here as well. But I'm not going to do that. Ah, much better. Good couple. Couple of tea. Couple. <laughs> couple. <laughs> I'm gonna tear down the tarp now because see this is super thin compared to what it uh, normally is I normally put the like you can see here my uh, walking pole it fits right in there but you can also put it there as well and uh, but it's an option to put it there I think it, uh, those are for Walking pole, so maybe like, um, so uh, yeah, you have two options at least. Um, I'm gonna pack this up now and uh, head back home.
Ooh, that's a basically a very good configuration like we have it there like straight down cool I want to try that it's, it's, it's easier to form the tarp as well because it's, it's lighter so uh, it's a very good material like I want to try this configuration another time that's pretty cool actually and it feels like a silk uh, sheet for the bed it's so super light <laughs> it's like nothing I have ever experienced before I'm a bit afraid my rip though so I will need to be gentle with it and hopefully it can withstand very very bad weather but this is practically so far the best tarp that I have ever tried it's so super light it's unbelievable to think about it it's great so delicate man that is, is meant for long distance hikes and through hikes and not doing any bushcrafting or nothing like that test your gear before heading for a big trip for sure or overnight forgot to pack my jacket well guys I think that's it for me I hope you liked this little video and I uh, will head back home now Let's see if we look around if I forget something No So um Yeah Thanks for watching, see you Yeah